first tip is that you can move the marker by clicking and dragging in this square. Um, I actually don't see a lot of people doing that. They come out here and they press G to grab and they try to move it there. And that works well enough, but you have a lot more control and finesse if you move, move it here. So you can do this and then press control T. And then this is a good example. If it stops like that, all you have to do, you don't have to come over here. You can just stay here, click and then drag and put that right back where it was. Put that thing back where it came from or so help me, so help me. Now, after you move it, you might want to arrow back and forth to see how much that has moved. Okay, so I want to actually try to match the previous frame as closely as possible. So here's where I moved it to. Here's where it was before. So I'm just going to move that slightly back over here and then just kind of go. Yeah, so something like that. 